Hi, this is Edis, Educational Technologist at Oregon Tech, and in this video, I want to go over the class notebook um, found right here. The class notebook is a really, really great collaboration tool. I was really excited to find it. Um, it works with OneNote. Um, it's very powerful. It has a lot of things that I think that a lot of instructors will find useful, especially if you have class um, with um, collaboration um, between students or a collaboration with you, or even if you want to do um, certain quizzes uh, real time, or you just want to have a central place for all your students to go to um, that is um, easily accessible anywhere online. This is not to replace Blackboard, it's just um, to help facilitate Blackboard um, information um, or just give your students another place to go so you're not limited just to Blackboard if you don't want to use it in that sense. Um, you can do, and what's nice is the collaboration part of this where um, you can actually have documents that students can um, upload there and everybody can collaborate on. Or, you know, even if you're not using it for a classroom environment, you can use it with other um, instructors you may be collaborating with or other individuals that you're collaborating with. It has a lot of functionality and a nice central place to find it. Um, one thing that I have run into um, in the past is that one of our instructors wants to collaborate with somebody outside of our organization. Not all organizations will allow um, you to sign into certain um, places because of their own concern of, of security, just so that you're aware of that. So before you start doing collaboration and asking, I would ask them ahead of time if there's, um, you know, what their security uh, is as far as internet collaboration. Um, Google Drive is an alternative, but not all organizations allow for that as well. Anyway, I want to go to the class notebook because I think that this is something that um, I was very excited about. It doesn't mean that you will be but um, again it may be something that somebody else might find just so fun and, and, and engaging that they want to um, be part of it and, and, and utilize this tool so if you don't have a class notebook on here um, like I do because I've already downloaded the add-in this is one add-in that I'm encouraging to allow um, you can always put in class notebook let's see um, or OneNote class notebook, let's do that because it's just, um, it is a OneNote tool. Um, and if you go here, um, you can see that I have all of these functions here and you can download the class notebook add in here. And if you click that, if you're in Chrome and Firefox, it'll automatically save it to the download folder. Uh, mine is changed because I saved my documents elsewhere. But you know, just make sure you know where you downloaded to. You can see I've already downloaded it once before here or twice before here. I'm not going to save it again because I already have the add-in, like I said. But all you have to do is run that, and it will install it on your OneNote. But let's go ahead and go back here, and let's see if I was wrong. Um, so if I go to Class Notebook, OK, so I do have that availability. I honestly cannot remember if the class notebook was part of the Office 365 apps or not because I've had this on here for a while and I've been using it for quite a bit. So you have these options. You can create a class notebook. You can add and remove students. You can add or remove teachers or you can manage notebooks. I have a lot of class notebooks. That's how I am going to be presenting all of my information to you. Um, and that's including any training I'm going to do because I just found this was just so easy to use and, and really manageable and I, I love being able to organize my notebooks and be able to give somebody a link and say here's all my information and have at it. You know, exciting, very exciting. So I'm going to go to manage notebooks and like um, notebooks. Uh, the Office 365 apps. This is a light version of Class Notebook and I will show you the, the desktop version shortly. So if I go ahead and go in here and I open it, you can see it's going to tell me one note online and I have very limited information here. So um, I selected the um, Microsoft Surface Hub, but what's really exciting about this is I actually have collaboration space um, where I can actually have people write in here and do some collaboration with me. Um, I can share the link. I'll just click on that and um, 
you know, so I can actually send the link to whomever I want, and and they will be able to get into this information, uh, this notebook as well. And we can build on this, and we can add, you know, extra pages and such. Um, as and as long as I give each individual an editing rights, they will be able to add to this as well. Um, but like I said, it's very limited. You don't have a save because everything is saved. Anytime you use an online version of an Office program, it's going to be saved automatically to your OneDrive. This is where you can share, you can print. Um, but when you're done, you can just go ahead and close out. Um, I would like to go back and let's go back to um, here, the class notebook. Um, I can create a class, and so this is kind of what I wanted to show you a little bit of. If I create a class notebook, it will go give you a wizard, and you can see they have an example here. Um, uh, I'm going to put in here no classroom notebook video, and so it just walks you through and you can make all kinds of choices here. Um, now this is just telling you what the sections are. Um, you can edit these information. You can choose whether you want these or not. Um, you can delete them later on. If you don't want a collaboration space, you just want to give them content libraries. Suppose you have 50 you know, files that you want students to be able to um, view. So only the teacher can edit and students can only view and see the teacher can edit as well as students. And then student night notebooks, only the teacher can edit, but the student who owns the notebook is the only person who can see and edit it. So they just want you to be aware of that. Um, this is where you can either add another teacher or TA. Um, I would not add your students here because that's the next step. Um, go ahead and say next. Um, so here's where you can add students. There's lots of students that you can add here. Um, so if you have a class, um, in a previous video I had, you know, class one, group two. So perhaps I want to just add those students into that or I could say just group two. I can add them in through here. You can also add them later and I will show you that as well. Um, this is really, really neat. You got a handout, so you know you like your syllabus and, and um, perhaps um, homework assignments that you don't want to print up, but you want your students to be able to access class notes, homework, quizzes. You can add more, so whatever your choices are on that. And this is what it will look like. So this is the teacher notebook. So you get a welcome, you get a collaboration space, and then you get content. Uh, these are tabs, and we'll go over that in uh, you know in the next video. Um, I just kind of want to show you how you can create a new notebook and what it looks like when you first open it. And then this is what the student's notebook would look like. So they also have the collaboration space. They also have access to the content library. They also have the student section notebook and handouts class notebooks. And so I'm going to go ahead and hit Create. And so it, it does take a few seconds for it to, to build, but it will build it. Okay, so when you do this, now again, um, this gives you the option to download the class notebook add-in. Um, if you haven't done that already, you have it here. Um, you can open in OneNote online, or you can open it in the OneNote on your desktop. And we'll do the desktop because I kind of want to go over a few things there. Um, and then, because um, we've already seen the one online where it's a really light version of it, you can also get more information here. So if you're interested in, in that, or if you're a Twitterer, at least you have you can Twitter, you know, add them to your Twitter feed, um, and also give provide feedback. Uh, this I did use; it was pretty useful. So if you're interested in in learning more, and I'm not covering everything, or you have more questions. Um, go ahead and give it a go or you can just watch my videos and, and make me feel good because um, <laughs> they're here for you so all right so I'm gonna go ahead and open OneNote so this is actually gonna open my desktop version because I do want to show it to you in in the the full version um, so what I have here now is the full version this is my desktop version um, you can see I have class notebook here and this is not here when you first open OneNote. So you will not see this until you do the add-in. The add-in is what adds this. If you have any difficulties, please contact me, let me know, and I will help get this onto your computer for you if you're very interested in it. Um, so these are the things you can do in, in um, Class Notebook. Uh, you can distribute a page, so I can actually, you know, choose to p take a, a section, um, a class notebook, and I can copy it, um, and select the co 
class notebook in the student section. I don't have student section, so I can't copy it, but you would normally have somebody's name here, and then you can actually copy that to them. So I'm hoping when um, I start getting my training classes going, um, I will have names here, and then I can start adding these people to, to that um, section so that I can give them the information for all of these folders, uh, these, these uh, trainings that I'm going to do. So if you're interested in any, please let me know, and I will definitely add you. Um, same thing with distribute new section. Um, so section do only work for class notebook. Please select a class notebook. And so this is not a class notebook. I do have some down here. So um, let's go ahead and go here. And then I can distribute new section. Um, well, for some reason, it's saying that I don't have it in there. So we'll worry about that in another time. Um, distribute content library. So say I want introduction. That is something that I want on all of these things. So I can actually click whichever ones I want to have. So I, I believe these two don't have it. So I can actually copy them there. And that's going to actually copy those over to the um, the uh, those folders. And so they just want you to be aware that they will make a copy. And it is a copy, so you're going to have to change names and just say OK. And so that's, um, and it's giving me two messages because I, I chose two different notebooks. So if I go down to SmartBoard, I think was one of them, um, I'm getting a sync message. So it's just syncing. But there's my introduction. Um, and there's the other one that I just copied over. See, it says OneNote. Um, but I don't want it. So I'm going to go ahead and delete it for right now. Yes. Um, I did not know that I did that. So if I have classes or students, um, and again, this is something I hope that I will get soon. I hope that you all, anybody who views these will will definitely be in my list of, of students. Not that I'm going to review your, your notebook, but this is where you would review notebooks. You can also create a notebook from here. And as I said, you can add and remove students from here. Um, very cool. You know, so you just add them and, you know, you start putting in names. Um, and then so this will bring you to the online version of this the system because it's working through one uh, OneDrive as well so I can say I want Microsoft Outlook and then I can find somebody um, that I would like to add to my student and then so I know this is the student I want to add and then I can just say next next I'm not going to do it because she's going to get an email saying that she's been invited my notebook and, and I don't want to freak her out that bad um, and this is also, this will also, um, you, you can add and remove teachers, TAs, whomever, you know, is at the teacher level. That's just, you want to give them the same rights you have. And then you can manage notebooks here. Again, it will bring you online. Um, this is actually through um, OneDrive and OneNote. Um, so you have various options that you can do here. Um, like I have teacher only section group um, enabled. So only teachers will have a certain section available to them. Um, you can see in some of my classes that I do, I have all four things, which is the class hand notes, handout, homework, quizzes. And then the rest of them, I decided I don't really need the handout and quizzes because I really just want to be able to, or not the handout and quizzes, I'm sorry, um, the homework and quizzes. Um, because I am not going to give you homework and I'm not going to give you a quiz unless you really want one. So, um, that is a nice functionality though because again you can use that to um, give quizzes online you know especially if you have a online class or a hybrid class you know this is just another way to get information to the students quick and easy and and manage it a little bit differently than if you you know were just stuck in blackboards uh, some people love to live in blackboards some people don't so that's just another way of, of um, being able to to manipulate your data and use it to the best of your um, so that you give the best in dispersal of information to everybody. Um, professional or connections. Connections is kind of cool. If you have a Canvas class, um, you can actually connect it with a Canvas class or. Um, this does not have anything, I believe, for um, Blackboard, but it does have for, um, uh, so we got Canvas, I know is one that's used. Um, I've never seen Google um, Classroom, but who knew there were this many LMSs out there? Uh, Moodle is another one that I know a lot of people use. So you can actually connect your OneDrive to these um, 
LMSs if that's what you would like to do, which I think is just fabulous. And then help and feedback, of course, if you have any questions or anything. So um, that is a pretty basic overview of the class notebook. Um, I think it's a very valuable tool. I would love to be able to give you more information about it. Um, I will go into how I've created documents. My, my main one that I have a lot of information on is, is my OneNote because I did do a lot of training videos, but you can insert uh, printouts. You can also um, insert a file. You can see that I have a downloaded do document here. So if you wanted to download the document, you can. Um, I have videos so that if you want to view my videos, um, this is just, this was for the training purposes. So I just kind of put those in here so people can actually see what it looks like when they go over the views. But this is what a class notebook looks like compared to a regular OneNote um, program. Uh, let's see if I can. Um, Okay, let's see if I can go into OneNote and show it to you a little bit different. Um, so here's the OneNote. Um, you will see all my my recent notebooks. Um, this is just everything that I've worked on recently. Um, these are the actual notebook notebooks. So I can go here. And um, I believe this is just a notebook. It is not a class notebook. So um, no, I'm not telling the truth. It doesn't look like. Um, well, let's go here. Um, new. Let's just do a new notebook just so you can. I just kind of like for everybody to see. Um, so this is how you would set up a new notebook. and then just create notebook and okay so it does show up with the new section and stuff but um and i sometimes get this just click on it if you get the same thing it's just um because i didn't have it syncing to my OneDrive at the time but this is a little bit different but i think because i have the class notebook um add-in um the class book notebook add-in that's why i am able to change things around but the one thing you can tell that is different by the one note um, notebook the new one I just created is I don't have um, all of this information here which is collaboration space and content library that this is just a regular old notebook with sections so that's the difference okay well I hope this was informative and if you have any questions comments feedback um, suggestions want to know how to do something further please contact me edis.warden at oit.edu my extension is 51730 and you can Skype me anytime and I would be glad to meet with you on Skype or in your office thanks and have a great day